Hey guys, how in the hell are you? This is Islander, welcome back to the newsroom. Okay guys, today we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, update 4.3.1 has landed. We have a lot of changes that went on. Uh, King of the Hill has been removed. It's no longer part of any type of rotation or as a, a single mod. Uh, we got the uh, fix for the bug, but we're going to go over all that in a minute. Right now, I do want to test out, since the, the weapons have made their changes, uh, how viable are which bots. I have no idea what's going to go on, what we're doing. So this is all going to be a test, and y'all right here to test it with me. So uh, we know we're going into a free-for-all. We know we're going into chapter mode, so we're going to drop a couple of uh, boosters to help us out. We'll take a damage. We'll spend a little bit of gold on this bad boy. On the defenses, so we're good to go all the way across. Let's take our health. Uh, let's drop a little bit of gold on this. There goes all my gold. Resources. Uh, not going to do any resources at all. Don't need resources. This is all just for the fight. Okay, so uh, let's do this real quick. And we're running the, uh, the Hasty Scourge. We're going to run the Bulwark. The Pursuer's there. Uh, we got a couple of specters to see how they're going to react to all this. We got a short range map dropping into Dead City. And we know what we're going to do here. Let's take the front first. Keep an eye on the back. And there's a fight in the back. And we're going to jump over here. Okay, he's coming there. And we're coming in. Let him get it on. And we'll pick up the second kill. Oh, don't steal my kill. He stole my kill. There, we got problems. Big problems. Good Lord. Okay, so we didn't pick up anything off the first round. So if we can sneak a kill here, and we're going to get him. Nope. Dang. We're just having a hard time right off the bat. And we got somebody behind us. Number three guy is sitting right behind us. And he's going to lock us down. We got to get this kill. And we didn't get the kill. We're just getting robbed left and right. The sewers are very readily available now. So... We gotta find our way back into this coming up on the eight minute mark and we don't have a single kill in our bucket and this is with damage guys this is with the boosters boosters are in effect here he's got the shield on us so we're gonna break away and watch our backside Close the gap. Can we get this kill? Finally. Finally, Jug got on the board. That moves us up into the foot number four slot. And I hear this bad boy coming up. I could hear him. Okay, got it. We gotta get a reload here quick. That's first place. He's running a little pursuer over there, and he is doing very well with that. So we want to keep him at about 450 plus meters. Light him up as we can. And I guess I didn't get my reload when I thought I had it. <laughs> uh, let's get a big stupid. Things are not looking good for a Islander right now. We have got to find a way to fight back into this. We only got five user points for five re regenerating tokens. That's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough with this group. Light him up. 
and let's go ahead and get a recharge. Still sitting in the number four slot. No kills, no kills. Let's see if we can get them over here and steal some stuff. You gotta be able to steal some kills. Man, that was that was about as bad as it could be. Yeah, we're getting ourselves kind of in a bind here. We need to get out of it. We need to get some kills as well. So we'll take a little side action. Bulwark is pulling through, doing the job we needed to do, and we re regenerate that shield. Hell Bulwark. Can we get one more here? Help. Oh, oh, we didn't get it. All right, let's try the shock trains out. This is the one I really wanted to test. This is the one I really, really wanted to test out. So can we get him? Can we get him? Can we get a range? And oh, we're not gonna get a range. Boy, that really blows. Cause now we gotta be cautious for the next 22 seconds on what we're doing. And we got a problem on the back left. Ooh, 281 meters. Not nice. Be nice. Oh man. I'm not gonna get give this guy a good test. Okay, there's a good hit, and we knocked out about 75% of his damage, and we're gonna get a jump here. Got a shot in. We're not gonna affect that kill, and we got problems on the backside, big time. But the uh, Spectre did all right. The Shark Train did all right. We just take whatever damage we can get, and we're gonna drop the Pursuer, and we're gonna go to work. Got 17 revival tokens. And we should do all right. We got the speed. We're going to have the cloak. And we got a little bit of punching power. So it's all about closing these gaps. Don't want to use the, the stealth ability if I don't have to. And we're going to have to use it. And, oh, man, uh, I kill you. Okay, let's, try, let's keep a calm head. Let's come back down. And we're going to wait for this guy right here. 1,001, 1,002, start pumping, even though he's not in cloak. There's one kill. And we're now we're cloaking. So we can lock him down and he's locked down, but he got fired from the other side. Can we beat him out? Nope. Got it. Now we're still, we fell back into third place, so uh, we're not going to be able to ride this. Oh, shoot, had to be the number one guy. Yeah, I'm not going to get away from him. And it's going to have to be a pursuer right all the way out. So all I want to do is lock this guy down and then move over here to the pursuer. I'm not locking him down. I want him away from, from, the, from, from the spectrum as much as possible. Okay, he's locked down. We're just gonna let him drop. 
That stealth ability, that stealth uh, hack or glitch is gone. Uh, they fixed that. We saw that right there. We got a minute 20 to play. I'm not sure how far I am behind. I took a, some bad hits early on. Can we lock him down? No, we can't. We got a chase now. We got six seconds, five seconds. If we can get the lockdown, there it is. We'll get the kill. I can't believe this, guys. I cannot believe I battled back for first place in this one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> wow. I, then I did not expect. The, the, the start that I had there, guys, was horrible. It's, a good, it's very competitive in Champions League, no doubt. The uh, modification that we got, I'm going to make y'all watch a video because I need this silver. Uh, the, you know, the modifications that are being made to the weapons and the bots. Uh, I did want to test out the uh, the Spectre Shock Train. I didn't get a, if it would have been a longer map, we would have got been able to see what we can do with it. Okay. Uh, the Spectre Tulumbus is still a good fight. It's still a good fighting gun. Uh, it didn't get a good showing on, on this match. Uh, it was the Bulwark and the Pursuer that pulled it out in the end. Uh, very fortunate to get first place in this one. I want to see what who I was up against because it was it was a good fight all the way around. One point four, and that's without uh, a silver booster. It would have been a lot more. Okay, we got one point five three. Wow, I'm 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 happy with with those numbers. Okay, and we got a a Poke Monster from Band of Brothers there. Uh, let's see who we got here. We got a we got a seek and destroy, and we got a guy from Seal. So all around, you had solid, solid competitors. All champion modes. Okay, I'm not sure who this is. That's a okay. That's a master guy. He got pulled in with us, and this guy just dropped out. Okay, so uh, all in all, it was a good fight. Uh, even on the kills, and I just snuck him out on the damage at the end. Okay, so I'm real happy with that. Okay, so now let's get over here. Let's talk about uh, 4.3.1 uh, a little bit. Okay, and let's go ahead and jump over to some screenshots I got saved up for you guys. And, and let's talk about this. Okay. Okay, of course, we all know that we have the, the Raker, the Blitz, and the Invader. They're, they're in. They got the suppression damage. Uh, new mechanism suppression, uh, suppression shuts down enemy weapons. We know that. New armory interface. Uh, improvement on weapon sorting in the description. Uh, visual effects changes, guys. If you get a chance, go check out your, your orchids. They, they got the little red paint on the sides now. They look pretty neat. Uh, paint jobs. We've seen these guys. They came. They were coming in the offers first. They were trying to sell them to us, uh, along with the bot for like fifty dollars a piece. And now you can uh, get them for your for your bots. I already picked mine up for for the bulwark. You saw it there. Uh, the mender, the Wayland, the bulwark, the Strider, and the Mender, Wayland, Bulwark, Strider, and Raven. Okay. All right. Uh, major robot weapon rebalance. Okay. And uh, yeah, I've noticed it right off the bat. You, know, you can definitely sense it in the Orkins. Uh, I played a couple of rounds earlier today and I can, I was testing out the Orkins. And yeah, they don't have the same punch that they had at one time. Okay. Uh, various optimized tweaks. I guess we'll just wait to figure what those are out. I don't know. Minor bug fixes. Okay. This bug is the uh, Spectre or the... Uh, infinite uh, cloaking, all right, and that's the one we've been. Everybody had been problem with the uh, infinite stealth is what we were calling it, and uh, that was uh, fixed. It was only fixed for Android guys. So you guys that, that are on the other platforms, iOS, uh, you're gonna have to wait a little bit as well as Amazon and Game Room. You're not gonna get a chance to to have that fixed. You're still gonna have to be dealing with those uh, that bug for a little while longer. Okay, so. Hot fix 4.3.1 uh, to the stealth bug. Abu uh, abuse is uh, abuse is here for Android. Okay, uh, fix on the platform. Fix on other platforms coming soon. Now, as we were talking about uh, through the last video and through all day long, the, the message guys that've been messaging coming in, uh, guys are saying that you know it's it's not a hack. You know it, it's not it, it's a glitch and it shouldn't be punishable by a Pixonic. If you use the glitch because it's being allowed by Pixonic, guys, and I told y'all, many of y'all today, and we did have these conversations, you know, if you get caught exploiting this, this glitch and you get reported and you get recorded 
and they submit it to Pixonic, your your accounts are going to get banned. Okay, I warn many of you all day long. You know, avoid doing this glitch if it happens accidental. Uh, and it, and trust me, guys, this glitch is happening accidental. This is not like the last one where you had to go through the five steps to get it activated. This one, you just jump, get caught up on a wall, and your stuff was not going to come off until you hit the ground. Okay, and that's where uh, uh, players are knocking off other players, not allowing them to use this stuff. Okay, if you're doing it and you get recorded and you're sitting up there for five minutes of the game with your with your with your shock trains and 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 with the scourges, and you're not coming down, and somebody's recording you, and they submit that recording, and and report you to Pixonic, be prepared to have your account banned. It's gonna happen. It's already happened. I've already had a few messages from guys saying, "Hey, Islander, uh, I I got banned because I was you know I was using the stealth glitch and." And I need my gold, and this is a good way to, for me to get gold. I need to get a little bit ahead, but now I'm banned. What do I do? Uh, guys, not very much. You're going to have to wait for Pixonic to contact you. You're going to have to go to their to their Facebook page and write them and let them know what happened and, uh, you know, beg and plead and pray and, you know, do what you got to do to get your accounts back. Uh, but you were warned. We told people, don't be doing this, this, this uh, glitch. Don't be abusing it. Okay. So that's what's going on. The 4.31 is fixed. Is here. So uh, good for us on Android. I iOS, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, King of the Hill, guys, has been removed. It is the least popular game of of the mods. Okay. It's shown that it has the least popularity and requires improvement. Okay. Now, what kind of improvements? What do y'all think are the improvements to actually make this mod viable? And guys, I heard some pretty cool suggestions. Uh, one of them was a guy saying, you know what? Center beacon needs to be the only beacon there. And the two squads come out and they fight to turn that beacon one color or the other. And, and you know, at the end, whoever wins, wins. Now, I see that being a, as a cool idea. It's definitely going to promote the fight. You know, you, you can't just sit back and, and you have one guy running for all the beacons you know, he comes out with uh, 25 damage, not 25,000, just 25 damage, and he has all the beacon time, and he's the one that gets the, the 10 gold because he was in the background running around, getting beacons, while the rest of his team was up there getting the fight, okay? Uh, damage was not accountable for this, and uh, kills were not accountable in this. So th those are two parts of the game that, that I, I did like about King of the Hill, and... Uh, I think they should reduce the amount of beacons, whether it's uh, two or one, or however they want to slice it up. Those would be my recommendations. But I want to hear what y'all got to say on this. You know, is King of the Hill worth bringing back? Is it a mod that can be uh, rejuvenated? Okay. Uh, one guy had a cool thing. He said, "You know, why the hell do you even have beacons to begin with? King of the Hill was essentially supposed to be one person on top of the hill, and everybody tries to knock him down." And right there, I got visuals in my head of, of me being, you know, seven years old and actually playing King of the Hills, trying to stand on, on, a, on this little pile of dirt. And everybody's trying to knock your ass off that dirt, you know, and you're trying to do everything you can to stay up there. I thought, how cool would that be, for, you know, for six guys, say like a free for all, and you got one guy on top of the hill and everybody else is taking pop shots at him. And maybe since you're on top of the hill, Maybe get some type of damage resistance or maybe your weapons will be a little bit more powerful while you hold uh, the, the, you know, the the center of the top of the hill. Maybe have like a little barrier around it that, that shows you, you know, kind of like a like the beacon. You have that little circle there. Or as long as you're in that beacon, you get some type of little boost, you know, till somebody kills you and then jumps into the center of that beacon. And then he takes the rejuvenation. You know, that's that was something that I thought was cool. You know, no beacons at all. Bring it into a free-for-all free type mode to where, you know, you got to hold the, the top of the hill. That sounded kind of cool. You know, that, and these are just some neat ideas that, that, that people are coming up with. And granted, not a single one of these ideas are mine. These all belong to somebody else. And I gotta, I'll gotta, i make that known right off the bat. I will take no credit for somebody else's idea. But I will bring it to, to the channel if it's if it's viable enough and, and I like it enough. And I think it's something that would be fun to, fun to play, cool to play, and, uh, you know, and we know that Pixonic monitors these channels and if it's an idea that they can pick up from somewhere or better yet, go to their page and, and, and drop a comment or, or drop an idea and see what they think about it, okay? 
So these are the things that I want to bring uh, up to you. Uh, I want to know what y'all think about the uh, the fix on this. And guys of y'all that they got banned, uh, sorry to hear it, bud, but you should have stayed away from it. Okay. And then of course, uh, take the time to read this, guys, and tell me what y'all think about everything uh, that, that was involved here. We know that uh, a lot of us weren't happy with the uh, with the Spectre taking the the nerf that it did. You know, reduce speed, uh, reduce cooldown time. Uh, all in all, it, it's turning the, the Spectre from a, a brawler, you know, into uh, a shadow fighter. You know, he's going to have to hide back about 500 meters. He's going to have to be back. Uh, he can't afford to be jumping up, uh, getting in people's faces anymore. And knowing that he's going to lose his cloak ability within two seconds. And I don't care who you are. And a Spectre that lost uh, five kilometers per hour. You're not running very fast. You know, you ain't getting away from anybody. You're going to get thumped. Okay? So, guys, uh, these are the changes that were made. Uh, I did want to test about in that free-for-all, which is the free-for-all I just played for y'all. You know, you can see where I, I, I took, uh, got off to a very slow start. Okay? I really didn't know what to expect in free-for-all. Uh, I was trying some different setups earlier with the Orchids because I wanted to test them. But this uh, lineup that I had in free-for-all right now is my starter lineup that, that I'll be using. Okay, uh, I don't recall whether one of those bots was a raker. I think it was a raker uh, that, that I confronted with my uh, with my bulwark. Okay, and you saw where my bulwark just laid into him. And I'll have to go back and check that out and play it back. I'm not sure if it was, but I think it was one of the new suppression bots. Okay, and the bulwark laid into him and it still did what he had to do. Okay, so the bulwark, guys, is a beast. And he is now available... And the daily offers, I've seen them there. I think it was earlier today. Two with the 99 cent offers. 240 gold, 831 sewer. That's disgusting. Hell no. Okay. And there he is, guys. So they're going to be available in the daily deals, picking up components from here as well. Okay. Uh, I don't know if people want to spend 400 gold. Gold is kind of hard to come by. It's kind of hard to get right now. So it's not something uh, that, that we want to do. At least I don't want to do it. Okay, yeah, I mean, everybody had, can do what they want to with their gold. That's why it's theirs. Okay, now a rumor, guys. And once again, this is a rumor. All right, now let's all say it together. A rumor. Don't come back later on and say, Alan, you said in that video that they were going to do it. No, guys, this is just a rumor for the last time. All right. Uh, the reason that the changes are being made to Workshop 2.0, the reason why the... Uh, the times on on picking up your equipment went from let's say the the gust where I'm trying to acquire another gust the gust went from uh, 35 minutes to like a day and a half you know <laughs> it was crazy you know it's just an insatiable amount of time to get gust components now the rumor is or what what the buzz around the beehive is saying that the reason why they're making all these modifications and making these components just a little bit harder to get now is because they're going to be reducing the upgrade time okay and if this is accurate and this is confirmed and we will confirm it you know sooner than later you know then guys that is a good thing you know i'm willing to trade off workshop 2.4 2.0 for reduction in upgrade time okay the silver i think the silver prices are going to be there i don't think they're going to go anywhere so guys we're going to have to barrel down grind it and go out there and earn our silver. It's free in the game. All you got to do is play. You know, luckily you get a video here and there. And you'll be able to pick up some good silver. And, you know, it's not hard. We just play the game and we get our rewards on the silver part. So we're just going to have to play just a little bit more. And not a problem with me. I'm down with that. But what I do have a problem with is the ridiculous upgrade times. You know, two weeks to get to a, a, a certain level and then you know you finally get it to mk uh, mk 112 and you got to start that process all over again and unless you got some coins to drop on on some gold it's going to be a while you better grab a snicker bar all right so uh of course i'm using my my videos right here we'll play one while, while we're talking uh i'm using these to upgrade my or increase my, my upgrade time so if these stay there and they improve the upgrade time Okay, guys, and we still have the videos that they, that can uh, progress it just a little bit faster. That's going to be a hell of a deal for the players, guys. You know, this is uh, this is them coming to and potentially meeting us halfway, which is what we were asking for. 
You know, we didn't expect to get a silver reduction and a time reduction and keep all the the, the access to, to the components that we were having. We knew they were going to cut back somewhere. And if this is it, so be it. So be it. You know, if they could just throw a little bit of gold back in over here into the Royale, uh, that would be bittersweet. You know, not say throw it all back in, but, you know, give us an, a, a, an opportunity to to pick up some gold that we can use in, in the daily deals or that we can use in, in a rapid upgrade or something of this nature, okay? Uh, I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I saw how fast that they addressed the 4.1, uh, 4.3.1 to deal with the uh, with the infinite stealth. So that just tells me if they, if they wanna do something, they can do it overnight. They can do it pretty fast, okay? So I'm hoping that they bring some gold back to the Royale. I'm hoping the rumor on the uh, reasoning for, for the increased uh, times of uh, Workshop 2.0 is because they're going to reduce the upgrade time. And if this is confirmed, guys, we are so on the right track. We are definitely on the right track to getting back to a meter, middle ground with our developers. Okay? Well, this is all I got to say for today, guys. I want to hear your feedback, your comments. Also, real quick, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing. And if you did like this video, drop me a like, guys. It really helps me out and lets me know where I need to be. All right, guys, till next time, this is Islander signing out.